Hey, what's going on, everyone? My name is Matt Jarbo. This is Three Buck Theater, and Ridley Scott is a machine. He's a machine. This dude's a machine. All right, let's be fair here. Love is work, hate is work. He is a machine. He is always working, and every time he puts out a classic, like a cinematic classic, there's always a couple in there that you're like, okay, Ridley, you just, you just, you had to knock the dust off, I guess. I don't know. You know, for for every The Martian, we get uh, what was that one with uh, Cameron Diaz, the counselor. That movie, whatever the hell that movie was, I saw it in theaters. It was terrible. Uh, but for every every The Martian, we also get uh, an Alien Covenant, or we get a Prometheus. And even though he's the man who who birthed the Alien franchise into what it is, and he feels a close connection with it, a lot of people are ready for him to straight up move the f on. But I guess um, that's no longer happening. We've been hearing about this for a while, and he is still out there talking about it again. I'm not even kidding. You figure with the Fox Disney deal having been done, the fact now that Disney that Ripley is a Disney princess, which she kind of is. I think we could be fair there. I think, I think we could all agree that Ripley is a Disney princess at this point. And then with the successes of of uh, of Prometheus and Alien Covenant, you figure at this point they would move on. They would they would try something new, if not to retire the franchise. Uh, or put into a long hibernation and to bring in some fresh talent because we know that when it came to Neil Blomkamp's pitch for Alien Five, uh, Ridley Scott he cock blocked it. He straight up he straight up blocked it, uh, you know. And that's pretty apparent because Alien Covenant came out and that movie was a, mo a movie. But anyway, according to this uh, article here, it does say that uh, it sounds like the world of Alien could be growing a bit more. A new report from Variety, which takes a look back at the original Alien in honor of its 40th anniversary, which I have on 4K and it looks amazing, uh, includes a particularly interesting nugget regarding the franchise's future, saying here that uh, the article references a third prequel, which Ridley Scott will direct and is in the script phase. Now, I went and looked at the uh, Variety article myself, and yes, that is a direct quote. That is at this point in time, at this point in time, Ridley Scott 100% believes that he will be uh, directing a third Alien prequel and it's going to happen. Okay, it goes on to say here for Alien fans, this morsel is probably somewhat of a surprise as the franchise's future has been somewhat in the state of flux for years. The wildly different narrative choices in Prometheus and Covenant plus the latter film's box office woes made it seem like a third prequel may or may not be in the cards. And the thing is, nobody really wants it. Like, I mean, there were elements of Covenant that were, like, cool in regards to how the aliens were created, how the xenomorphs were created, and how they did already kind of take on, like, a human form, right, based upon, like, how he was experimenting on a humanoid, I should say humanoid, from what David was doing, and that it was a man-made creation, which is interesting, uh, not what a lot of people wanted. It subverted a lot of expectations. But the biggest problem with that movie was it just wasn't very good. And going back even as far as Prometheus in 2012, just this is this is just a, a snapshot from thenumbers.com showing that it had a worldwide box office take home of four hundred and two million dollars and forty five million on estimated video sales. And of course, it's not talking about digital. But then again, in 2012, digital wasn't as big of a thing. The and the box off or in the production budget for this movie was around one hundred and 30 million dollars so that ultimately isn't bad the 447 million dollars is maybe enough to warrant doing a sequel which they did with covenant which came out five years later and that had a production budget of 97 million and we can see here that it only brought home 238 million uh, worldwide with only a video uh, sales here of 22 million putting it at at what Three two hundred and sixty million on a ninety seven million dollar budget. I mean, you know, there's that's the thing is obviously the movie failed. Obviously, Alien Covenant was one that it was panned across the board. Uh, not a lot of people liked it, and unfortunately, uh, looking at what could be happening further down the road is is not going to be very good for the franchise. Now they tried to reboot a little bit of interest into. Uh, the Alien franchise by remastering the original in 4K, which again looks amazing. They also tried doing a machinima version of Alien Isolation, which was released in like seven 11 minute long sh like episodes a couple months ago, which I watched and was terrible. The game was amazing, atmospheric, dark, creepy, awesome. The 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 machinima from it was not very good, and they altered. A lot of stuff and cut out a lot of stuff trying to i think retell the story in a more palatable way for audiences and that's the problem is it's kind of like with the terminator franchise when i talked about that yesterday there's no real end game for alien 
there's no real end game with it. People don't really want at this point alien. They don't. They want aliens. They want colonial marines. They want a lot of xenomorphs killing a lot of space marines and space marines lighting them up with Gatling guns and flamethrowers and stuff. That's what they want. That's what the audience wants. It's one of the reasons why Aliens, uh, Aliens Colonial Marines from 2013 was such a gigantic letdown because Fox and Sega were like, no, this is canon now, right? This whole game is considered canon. And that whole game fell apart because a developer had one letter typo in a word that completely screwed the AI. And it wasn't until years later that somebody found it and fixed it. And, and, and you know what? It's too little too late. And that's kind of the biggest problem with the Alien franchise is it's too little, too late, all the time. As much as I love and respect this man, and I truly, truly do, I love and respect Ridley Scott. He's brought so many great films into this world, and, and, I, and I, I love it when he gets it right. He has not gotten it right on Covenant, and Prometheus had such a weird FU ending that made very little sense, even though the cinematography was jaw-droppingly amazing. Uh, he is not in his element on this franchise, and I know he feels ownership to it. I know he feels protective over it. I know it's his baby and he doesn't want anyone else playing around in that world. But the thing is, is that eventually it's going to happen. And, and at this point I would uh, kind of like with X-Men Dark Phoenix, I would just rather them not do it. I would rather them not do it at all, not release the film, wait, reboot it a couple years down the road, rather than having to wait another 10 years or so for some other filmmaker to come along and tell the story in a way that is, is new and it's fresh. Ridley Scott tries to be new and fresh with these films. And in some ways he is in other ways he fails. And that's the problem with it is just that he's, he's not there anymore. And I think it's time he realizes that. And clearly the audience has realized that because they've moved on. No one is excited about an alien, a third alien prequel. Nobody is excited. If you want to tell the story of Amanda Ripley on the Sevastopol and like turn alien isolation into a movie that would like, like maybe lead into aliens or something, do that. Fans would like to see that. Fans would like to see that old aesthetic, that old 78 aesthetic come back in. And I think that could be good, but where he's been going with it and what he's trying to do with it, whoever's writing this new script had better bring it. If not, you know, it's going to be like third times the charm to crash and burn the franchise. And Disney at this point may not even allow it to happen, whether or not, you know, like just based on what they want to do with the property. But at the same time, Alan Horn might look at the pitch and think, you know what? Why not? Let's do it. We'll have to wait and see, but uh, just <sighs> produce it, man. Don't direct it. Don't write it. Produce it move past where we are with Covenant. We already know the established lore and go into the future. There's just that. Uh, I don't know your thoughts, your opinions. Let me know down in the comments below. I will talk to you guys later. Have yourself a great day and peace out. Hey, thank you so much for watching the video. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new, but if you really want to help the channel, be sure to check out patreon.com forward slash Matt Jarbo. There's uh, three buck theater perks. A lot's going to be going on with that, as well as the Facebook group, which is going to be only growing as time goes on. Anyway, thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon.